Hello everyone, good day. This is Carla Y. Nix with today's inspiration and I'm thankful to be here. You know, I was uh, just thinking the other day and um, we were victims of recently uh, a home robbery. Um, people broke into our home, thieves broke into our house, our home, invaded our privacy and and made us feel violated by stealing things or personal items from our home and it's been a process process for us dealing with it um, property was stolen personal things were stolen and just the fact that somebody came and invaded our personal space our home which is our sanctuary the place where we go to relax and where we just live and where we are a family and um, it, it, I, I'm going through, I guess, the process. <laughs> First, of course, I was shocked, and then I was angry, very upset, and also uh, fearful. Um, but I also gone through one stage where I realized that I need to forgive these people for what they did. Doesn't mean I approve. Doesn't mean I condone it doesn't mean that I'm happy about it but as a Christian as a person you know God uh, has has commanded us through Jesus Christ that we forgive one another just as as he forgives us and so I've come to that point and I have forgiven him and there was still something though that that lingered in me what was anger and then I just want to know who did it, and I want to know why. I guess that's the, th the thing is why. I mean, I know, you know, I know why, but it's, it's kind of like, how could you? But the other day, uh, actually it was yesterday, as I was thinking about this, still wanting to know, still very curious as to who, because we have no idea. And it could be somebody that we know. It could be somebody who's, who's close to us. I don't mean... Um, you know personally but in proximity someone it could be someone close to us we don't know could the people st still be looking at us you know the thing is they know who we are but we don't know who they are and what I was thinking the other day as I was thinking about that then this dropped in my spirit you know when Jesus was on his way to the cross and Jesus uh, was half not half oh my goodness a fully man, human being, but fully God as well at the same time. He was divine as well as, as, well as a, um, a human man. And I thought about when he spoke to his disciples. And he said, and this is when they were having the last, their last Passover. He said, one of you are going to deny me tonight. Um, I want you, yeah. Well, he he knew who was going to deny him, which we know is Peter, was Peter, and he knew who was going to be, betray him, which was Judas. So that was the God side of him, he knew that. And I just, I just kept thinking, he was sitting there ministering to, taking care of, still blessing them although he knew what they were going to do to him Peter denied knowing him and then Judas Judas betrayed him by turning him over to the to the soldiers and he told you know Peter what are you going to deny you're going to deny me and Peter not I you know Peter Peter stood strong and fast you know I will I will go I will stand with you forever and Judas he told Judas he said, what you're going to do, do quickly. So he knew this. But this is what came in my spirit, dropped in my spirit. Did it make it any better? Did it lessen it? He knew. He knew. So the fact that I don't know who it is, is that going to change anything? Is that going to make it less painful and less, less um, devastating? Will it make me less angry? Cause I, I'm still angry, I, I you know, and I'm praying Lord, let me get over this anger. Um, would it change anything? So, 
that dropped in my spirit. I need to let that go. So I, I said all of this to say to you, sometimes in life things happen and we don't understand why. We don't know why because, of course, I'm asking, Lord, why us? We don't have anything. You know, I mean, what we have is, is our stuff. It's not expensive. And that's not the point. The point is that it's for us. And somebody will come and take it. But we don't always understand why things happen and why God allows allows things to happen. And always knowing every single thing, every single detail is not always uh, going to happen for you. So, what should you do? As God is telling me to do, to just let that go. If we, if it is, if it, if it's God's will for us to know who it is, we will know. He will let us know. But I don't need to keep hanging on to it, to it, and being all stressed out and concerned about it, and, and letting it uh, drive my pressure up and upsetting me about who did it. Because that's that doesn't matter. God is going to take care of them. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. I don't have to get back at them. I don't have to show them. I don't have to fix them. They touched us. We are God's anointed. They harmed us. God's going to take care of them. They're going to reap what they sow. You know, things are... God's going to take care of it. That's, that all, that's all that matters. And you know what? We were devastated. We were hurt. But we're okay. Okay. <laughs> God has provided and reprovided and some things have come back that were stolen and some things God has given us even more of. So that's all that matters is that we're in God's hands. So I'm saying to somebody today, you don't need to know every little detail. You don't know why they did it. You don't have to know why they did it. You don't, don't you know, don't let that destroy you. Just let it go. Just trust that God is going to let you know what you need to know. And God is taking care of what needs to be taken care of. And that's all we need to know. That's all we need to know. Trust God. Trust God that all is well. Stand up and, and, and affirm that all is well. That you are okay. Because God's got you in his hands. Okay? God bless you. Have a great day. This is Carla Y. Nix with today's inspiration.